Hi, I'm Lori Clowers with a news update for August. The new academic year is underway with more than 22,000 students starting classes in degree programs. It's expected to be the largest fall enrollment in three years. The incoming class includes more than 3,000 2022 high school graduates, most of whom are taking advantage of free tuition. Students on campus are being welcomed with new programs, new amenities, new facilities, and fresh new accessible walkways. The new care center opened on Southern Wake campus. The care center offers guidance and coaching and assistance with laptops, food, transportation, wellness, and finances. Care centers also operate on the Scott Northern Wake campus, the RTP campus, and coming soon to Perry Health Sciences campus. 22 highly qualified dental assistants are supporting local dentists in our area. The dental assistants graduated in July and celebrated with a special luncheon at the Perry Health Sciences campus. The demand for dental assistants is expected to grow by 11% over the next eight Eight years. Representatives from the White House Office of Management and Budget came to the Scott Northern Wake campus for a special tour and to learn about Wake Tech's key role in workforce development. The guests toured welding, plumbing, HVAC, and electrical labs, as well as the new Hendrick Center for Automotive Excellence. They were also treated to a lunch buffet courtesy of Wake Tech's Baking and Pastry Arts program. Wake County High School students came to Wake Tech's Public Safety Education Campus to learn about careers in law enforcement, fire services, EMS, and criminal justice. And it was a huge day on the RTP campus recently as the new Wake Early College of Information and Biotechnologies welcomed its inaugural class in the Lilly Science and Technology Center. The new Early College offers the opportunity to earn college credit while in high school. And that's the latest news from Wake Tech as we start a new academic year.